Hey, it's Liam Killen. Arturia sent me some stuff, and so I'm gonna start talking about it in my videos. Here we have Arturia's Microlab Smart Keyboard Controller, and I made a track with this along with the Drum Brute Impact. Here it is. It's cute, it's compact, it's micro, it's smaller than my typing keyboard. It might just be because it's like fresh and new, but since I got it, I use it more than my two other keyboards. One of them being my five octave complete control S61, and the other one being my actual typing keyboard, which you could use as a keyboard, at least in Logic. I'm pretty sure you could do it in any other DAW as well. In Logic, it's Command K. So obviously you don't have a reference, you don't know the size of my typing keyboard, but for anyone who's familiar with Casio, I have an SK-1, which I'm pretty sure is their smallest model, which is quite a lot bigger as well. It's micro. Here's what we're gonna focus on in this video. The aesthetics of the keyboard, how it feels, how it interacts with Arteria's software, and the basic functions of each of these buttons and the sliders. I guess we can include this in my I Can Relate series, because despite the fact that this keyboard is very simple, there's not much to it, there was one I Could Relate moment. All right, let's do it. Right off the top, you can see that this thing is very bare bones and simple. That's my jam. And the first thing we'll focus on is aesthetics and feel. That's actually one thing that really stood out to me, the feel of the keyboard. The keys are weighted nicely, they're very consistent, and they're quite bouncy, but not too bouncy. I would actually go as far as saying that this is one of my favorite feeling keyboards up to date, and that's pretty important to me. I know that maybe this is like an unfair comparison, but going back to the Casio, these keys are just crap. I used to have an M-Audio Oxygen keyboard, which was an item in one of my recent giveaways. And even those keys don't really compare to the smoothness of the Microlab. I think that aesthetics are very important these days, especially if you're gonna be posting things on Instagram or platforms like that, very visual platforms. People like to see simple and well-designed instruments like the Microlab. It's just very clean and sleek. It's one of those instruments where if you look at it, you just feel like you wanna play it. Kinda of like the OP-1, has that same effect. Another smart design is this USB cord. So you could just like tuck it in there, like so, and then wrap it around so it's not hanging out the side or anything. So now it's completely out of the way. Okay, now I have to unravel it again. <laughs> That's the aesthetic and feel of the instrument. Let's take a look at some Arturia software features. The Microlab includes hardware integration with UVI Grand Piano, which is cool. The selling point though is that it comes with Arturia's Analog Lab Lite. Now that is next level. Arturia has been kind enough to send me pretty much all of their software, which I've really been digging into. So I actually have a heftier version and that's Analog Lab 4. I'm actually planning to focus on some of Arturia's synths specifically. So if there's any that you want me to review or demo, just let me know in the comments. If you're using Analog Lite, you're able to scroll through and select presets by holding shift and using the pitch and mod wheel. That being said, if you already have Analog Lab 4 and you bought this keyboard looking forward to integrating this, I can relate. relate. Yeah, I did some research and I couldn't really find anything, but if there is a way to use these sliders in Analog Lab 4, please let me know in the comments. Maybe it's some sort of compatibility issue, I'm not really sure. We'll look at what each of these buttons and sliders does individually, it's all quite standard. Hold is to add sustain to your chords and in the case of this track, I used it on the DX7. So this is pre-hold. with hold on. This is a really cool feature and it basically just keeps your MIDI sustain pedal at 100% at all times. In the case of this track that I made yesterday, it actually works great because these are very open, big chords. But if your chord progression is happening faster, sometimes it's a bit weird when your chords bleed into each other. Yeah, that's a lot of bleed. It's safe to say that if you're looking for a piano with more sustained pedal control, this is not the best keyboard for you. It's not your vibe. The left slider is to pitch bend, which of course gets recorded into the track. And the right slider is for modulation. I'm gonna scroll through a few of the Analog Lab 4 presets and show you what modulation does to each of them.
that about sums it up. <laughs> ha, psych. I actually forgot two really important buttons on the Microlab, and that's octave minus, octave plus. If you want to go down an octave, you press octave minus. If you want to go up an octave, you press octave plus. And that's it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough of this very simple and cute little instrument. My conclusion is that it's a great instrument to travel with just because it's so compact and simple, and also just sits very conveniently on your desk just because it doesn't take up any space. But obviously, if you're looking for something that just has more features, then this might not be the best choice for you. I'd also just like to thank Arturia for sending me this Microlab as well as the Drum Brute Impact. I'm definitely gonna be using this for years to come. There will be some more Arturia related content coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.